What's going on everyone? This is the Mac Roberts back again with another NBA 2K21 My Play Builder video. Today we're taking a look at the best Klay Thompson build. And Klay Thompson on the Golden State Warriors is one of the best two-way players in the league. An absolute sniper from downtown, he and Steph form the Splash Brothers. While Steph is the shot creator, Klay is more known for running off screens, spotting up, and getting buckets in a hurry. Like when Klay Thompson gets hot, it's absolutely drop everything and watch must-see TV. In the playoffs, you're always good for what I like to call a Klay Thompson game, where he goes off for like 20 or 30 and a quarter, or a half, and you just have to be amazed at all the shots that he's taking and making. However, what's not to be forgotten is how great he is on the defensive end. I would consider him a lockdown defender, and in addition to his ability to finish, even though he's not crazy athletic, it makes him a perfect fit with the Warriors offense. So without further ado, let's get into the build. Positions are going to be shooting guard, hand in this doesn't matter. Jersey number also doesn't matter, I just chose number 11 because that's the number Klay Thompson wears. For the pie chart, we're actually going to go with the red and green pie chart. I've seen a couple of these builds and some people have gone with the either all green pie chart, the green yellow pie chart, or even the green and blue pie chart, but you don't get those defensive badges that you need to be really Klay Thompson. So that's why I'm gonna go with the red and green pie chart. And for the physical profile, we're going to go with the balance physical profile. Now for your attributes, you're going to bring your close shot up to an 84. You're going to bring your driving layup up to a 77. And you're going to bring your driving dunk up to a 73 with your standing dunk at a 27. And that's going to give you two finishing badges. For shooting, you're going to max out your mid-range shot, max out your three-point shot, max out your free throw and bring your post fade up to a 76 and that's going to give you 20 shooting badges for playmaking you're going to bring your pass accuracy up to a 65 and bring your ball handling up to the max 75 and that's going to give you four playmaking badges lastly for defense and rebounding you're going to max out your interior defense max out your perimeter defense max out your lateral quickness max out your steal Bring your block up to a 48 and spend the rest on defense and rebounding and that's going to give you 19 defense and rebounding badges so two finishing 20 shooting four playmaking and 19 defense and rebounding badges is a total of 45 badges body shape doesn't really matter i'm just going to go with solid now for the height you can either go 6'5 or his actual height of 6'6 uh, the reason why I'm going to go with 6'5", though, is because your shooting stats do take a hit if you bring it up to 6'6", but as always, I will tell you how to make it at 6'6", and how to make it at 6'5". So, for me, I'm just going to go with the height at 6'5", and for the weight, if you're going 6'6", bring the weight up to his actual weight of 215, and if you're going 6'5", bring it up to 225. And for the wingspan, for 6'5", bring it down to 78.8. And for 6'6", bring it down to 78.9. So at 99 overall, you'll have a close shot of 86, an 81 driving layup, a 76 driving dunk. And for your shooting stats, you'll have an 89 mid-range shot and an 86 three-point shot with a 92 free throw and an 81 post fade. For your playmaking, you'll have a 69 pass accuracy and an 80 ball handle. So, ironically enough, you do actually get all the pro dribble moves thanks to the new patch. And for your defense and rebounding, you'll have 64 interior defense, you'll have an 88 perimeter defense, 88 lateral quickness, a 93 steal, a 50 block, a 44 offensive rebound, and a 70 defensive rebound. Your physicals at 99 overall with the gym rat badge will be 87 for speed, 86 for acceleration, 85 for vert, and 78 for strength. For the takeover, you could go with the shot creator takeover, I guess, or the lockdown defender takeover, but it really only makes sense to go with the spot up shooter takeover. And the build is complete and you have built a two way sharpshooter, shades of Victor Oladipo, Richard Hamilton, and Drew Holiday. Now for your badges, for your finishing badges, you're gonna put consistent finisher on bronze and pro touch on bronze. For your shooting badges, you're gonna put catch and shoot on gold, corner specialist on gold, dead eye on gold, green machine on gold, hot start on gold, range extender on silver, and steady shooter on gold. 
For your playmaking badges, you're going to put Bailout on Bronze, Space Creator on Bronze, and Stop and Go on Silver. For your defense and rebounding badges, you're gonna put Clamps on Gold, Defensive Leader on Gold, Heart Crusher on Gold, Interceptor on Bronze, Intimidator on Gold, Off Ball Pest on Gold, and Pick Dodger on Gold. All right, everyone, this has been the best Clay Thompson build. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon and join the Penny Face Squad. That'd be greatly appreciated. It helps out the channel overall. And you'll also be kept up with everything we do in the channel, so you don't want to miss any of that. Drop a comment below and let me know what you thought of the build. I'm taking requests, so if you have a build that you want to see me make, let me know in the comment section below, and I'll try to make that build for you. I'm making builds every single day for current gen and when next gen comes out. I'll be making builds for next gen as well, so that's why you want to be subscribed so you don't miss a thing. Last but not least, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.